was a nice off color in the water so I quickly packed the rod yesterday or the day before I just got my new Poseidon Azure Pro 15 foot and I put a BG6500 on there with 30 pound braid and I'm using a Saltiga 100 pound braid with fluorocarbon the last section of about a meter and a half but with this off color it really looks nice just thinking we might be better off on the right hand side so I just want to have a look the northeast is just picking up it's going to push all it started already pushing all this color from the river the Mzumbi river on the left here in front of the rocks here so we might just get a nice fish we'll give it a shot we'll go have a look in the front there that's quite excited to, to cast this rod. I haven't had opportunity to cast this rod yet, so quite excited about that. I don't know, it doesn't look like there's a wash. But I think I'll any case fish a grapple sinker. Okay, look at the. I'm going to fish a dangle with a circle hook, a little skirt for color. I'll see if I take that off or not. Still have to decide about it. Now this trace is, trace is made up with 0.66 fluorocarbon siglon. I'm using these, uh, well, I favor these uh, little combi swivels. We you put your sinker on the small swivel, put my leader on the big eye of the bigger swivel. And it just prevents tangles, it gives nice movement to your bait in the water without tangling up. I'm using a double figure of 8 knot here, sound sinker, and the hook of choice is the Tuna Circle 60, and then high density foam I've used with a little glass bead, and that's just for the, the rattle it's got. You can hear that in the water. First things first, up to your leg. Yeah, off some of these spots, especially like Stabalia you really battle with the pickers. Pickers being, uh, for you don't know, the smaller fish that eat off your bait very quickly. And the octopus leg is just tough. So that really helps with it. Take the skin off. What I want first is I want my body bait. And that, I want to do like this. I'm going to split it there. And I created two tentacles with it, as you can see. I trim it on the top. Still a little bit frozen. Now what I'm going to do with the Octi, I've cut it, I've split it in the bottom for two tentacles I want. Then I'm going to stick it over the hook as well. And wrap it around my foam. I'm going to get the slit a bit higher up so the ring sticks out for the sinker clipping. Like that. Put it nicely on there. And you guys will notice that I leave a piece of foam open. With the octopus being so tough and slippery, that helps me to really secure it on the dangle. But it won't slip off at all. And I'm going to stick on the opposite side. And now the cotton will hold on to the chocker that's already holding on to the foam. Open up this langoustine, take it out, langoustine tail, oh look at that guys, that's like crayfish. Now there's some flavors for you. And then what I'm going to do is this piece I left, the octopus leg, I want to beat that into a pulp. A nice little skin for my bait. With that extra red eye you beat into it. And this I'll add over my fleshy baits. Still got the octopus sticking out on the other side. Now when, why I put the, the flesh, bit of red eye into the octopus and beat it, just to get that flavor out there as this bait hits the water. 
to create a bit of a frenzy hopefully a lot of small fish will probably come onto it but those pieces will float around in the water so this extras here I'm just gonna trim off okay little mixed grill seafood platter for whatever's interested there hoping for one of those nice black tip kingies this off color water there'll be flat fish around I hope the red eye would lure in definitely a brown skate if it's in the area and any of the edible fish will pick this up a nice stumpy if there's cob in this off color water maybe and uh, a real mixed grill to lure in anything that we hook in there bit of color with a Yamashita skirt always like that and with this rod I cast with my uh, finger glove, a kingfisher finger glove on the bigger tackle, the bigger spinning gear, I'll use the, the bionic finger that's coming with the, the saltus rod coming in the future we'll have it standard, fitted standard on the rod okay guys if you could look here on the right you'll see a brown spot, I don't know if you can see it without the polarized no you probably can't as clearly but everything here is just bait fish washing in currently they were just smashing on the surface I don't know if there's a there's game fish or something behind it but it's just bait fish check them smashing there there's fish smashing in them and I cast it just to the left of it <laughs> anchovies coming through but the wind's just too strong to get the anchovy spoon out so I threw a popper but didn't work get my mix scroll bait out nothing wanted that Whee, this is a big wave and then I put a bit of sardine now there's good news there's no pickers uh, octopus sardine but now I'm gonna switch to a bite trace and maybe look for a hammer or something put a mackerel out that's probably our best bet right now maybe get a flatfish I saw either what looked like a big brown skate or a smaller duck bull floating just above my bait and still nothing so let's put something else up just making the bait a bit smaller it's going to be a fairly hard bait soft on the one side it's on the bite trace nicely old school
front. But nice fight. See the ridge on the back? That's how we know it's a grey shark. There's a ridge between the dorsal and the, the tail fin. Now, now it can catch fish. Always important to open that door. 